Today we started working with subtraction. We were trying to calculate the difference between two numbers and we were doing that using distance riddles just like this one. The riddle is the distance between 100 and me is 31 what number can I be? Well the students discovered there's actually two answers to that riddle. If you move 31 to the right from 100 on a number line, that's just adding 100 plus 31, which was pretty easy for us to do in our heads. That would be 131. But if you move 31 to the left from 100, you're actually subtracting on the number line. And I told the students if they weren't sure what the number was right off the top of their head, they could think of a hundreds chart to help them subtract. So if you start at 100 on a hundreds chart and you subtract or count backwards by tens, you're going up the hundreds chart. So it would look like this. 10, 20, 30, and then you have to go one to the left because you're subtracting 31. So the number right before 70 would be 69. So 100 minus 31 equals 69. That means on the number line, 31 away from 100 to the left will give us the answer 69. So that answered the riddle, but then we had to figure out what the difference is between this number and this number. Well, we know that 69 is 31 away from 100 because that's the problem that we just did. And we know that 100 is 31 away from 100 as well. So in order to go from 69 all the way to 131, we have to add 31 plus 31. Well, 3 tens and 1 1 plus 3 tens and 1 1 gives us 6 tens and two ones, or 62. So the total difference between 69 and 131 would be 62. Now we can use our number line to write an addition problem and a subtraction problem. If we start at 69 and add 62, our answer will be 131. And if we start at 31 and subtract 62, our answer will be 69. 